welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. FAA 2022 Aviation Workforce Grant for Pilots and Technicians. Sporties updates Sport Pilot Course. North Texas gets its first flight school, Rising Aviation High School. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. FAA 2022 Aviation Workforce Grant for Pilots and Technicians. To invest in and build a future workforce in aviation, the FAA is providing two grants to academia and the aviation community to inspire, recruit, and prepare a diverse, inclusive pool of pilots and maintenance technicians. These grants total $10 million and are authorized through fiscal year 2023. The Aircraft Pilots Workforce Development Grant is geared to educate pilots, aerospace engineers, or uncrewed aircraft system operators, and the Aviation Maintenance Technical Workers Workforce Development Grant for Aviation Maintenance Technicians. This is the second year that the FAA is providing the Aviation Workforce Development Grant. As mentioned previously, these grants are not available to individuals per established legislation, only to academia and aviation organizations in amounts ranging from $25,000 to $500,000 per fiscal year. The FAA is hosting a pre-application technical assistance webinar via Zoom on Wednesday, May 11th from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time to assist those interested in applying. The Space Grant Consortium, which has a participating membership in all 50 states across the USA, were recipients of an AWD in 2021 and used the funding to support Aviation Pathways programs. And after the break, Van Nuys sees success with Local Aviation Career Day. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo Power Plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Van Nuys sees success with Local Aviation Career Day. Van Nuys, California held the 16th annual Career Day at the local airport, bringing out nearly hundreds of students to see the breadth of aviation careers available right in their own backyard. The sky's the limit Aviation Career Day was presented in conjunction with the Van Nuys Airport. This annual event, somewhat unfortunately, was held online for the second time in a row. The online forum did allow a higher attendance rate than years past, bringing out almost 200 e-attendees. Constant Aviation expands AMT apprentice openings. Constant Aviation of Cleveland, Ohio has announced a series of changes hoped to entice additional students, workers, and apprentices into the AMT fold. The company offers a combined work and learning program that places apprentices alongside experienced aircraft technicians working the line, combining their work time with daily classroom lessons and lab courses. The method allows students to continue to earn an income while attending school and building their skill base in preparation to take the FAA Airframe Certification Test. JetBlue seeks to acquire Spirit Airlines. Earlier in February 2022, Frontier and Spirit Airlines seemed to be leaving the merger party, having announced a quote, definitive merger agreement that would combine their companies to create a competitive ultra-low fare airline. They stated that the customer stands to benefit, including those in underserved communities and, equally important, job creation on both sides of the aisle. Ted Christie, president and CEO of Spirit, essentially said, we do take Frontier to be our lawfully wedded business partner, adding that, quote, we're a perfect fit, end quote. Boeing unveils first USAF T-7A Red Hawk. The first T-7A Red Hawk advanced trainer jet to be delivered to the U.S. Air Force has been unveiled. The jet, one of 351 the U.S. Air Force plans to order, was unveiled prior to official delivery. 
The fully digitally designed aircraft was built and tested using advanced manufacturing, agile software development, and digital engineering technology, significantly reducing the time from design to first flight. The aircraft also features open architecture software, providing growth and flexibility to meet future mission needs. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Sporties updates Sport Pilot course. Sporties continues to go through and revise their online courses, this time allowing future LSA pilots to learn the ropes and save money on ground time for their sport pilot license. Like the other courses in recent months, Sporties has updated things with a new video, handy tools, and a support for a wider roster of platforms. The time is right with a number of new additions and prospective sport plane owners hooked by the new generation of affordable, modern aircraft coming out every month. The increased fascination with lightweight backcountry flyers has built a good amount of interest among those formerly outside of aviation. Like other Sporties updates, the course receives the same suite of study tools, test preparation, and video assistance found in their commercial, private, and CFI courses, in addition to a roster of topics that may not make their way into the traditional sport pilot lesson plan. Real-world topics like four-flight integration, glass cockpit tips, ADSB utility, and modern weather resources have been added as a part of the modernization, with more than a dozen full video segments walking students through the topics just like they would for ground school, without the hourly cost. Test prep for the written is included and frequently updated. And after these messages, North Texas gets its first flight school. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. TL Sport Aircraft is changing the way you fly for sport, business, and adventure. We manufacture aircraft that bring a new level of excitement and safety to sport aviation. With five models to choose from, we have the right airframe to fit your mission. High wing or low wing, side by side, or tandem seating. TL Sport Aircraft is redefining sport aviation. Explore what we have to offer and let us open your eyes to the possibilities at TLSportAircraft.com. Welcome back. North Texas gets its first flight school, Rising Aviation High School. Making a career in aviation is the primary goal of Rising Aviation High School's flight training facility, which recently opened its doors at Addison Airport in Texas, located seven nautical miles north of Dallas Love Field. Rising Aviation's reported goal is to make a career in aviation accessible to everyone. Rising Aviation's principal and lead CFI, Brian Fitzgerald, added that their students will graduate with a GED and also a remote drone or private pilot certificate. Rising Aviation's fleet includes the Diamond DA-40, Evector's Harmony LSA, and an advanced simulator. They are looking to add an aviation camp slash pilot camp in the future where those interested can immerse themselves in the week-long program where they will gain hands-on experience in the simulator and aircraft while learning about instrumentation, navigation, and aeronautics, weather, and aviation safety. For those not interested in the flying side of things, thanks to a partnership with Monarch Air, an aircraft charter operation and management program that offers exposure to flight and passenger scheduling, aircraft maintenance tracking, marketing, finance, flight planning, customer service, and even Part 135 regulation compliance. Rising Aviation, a private high school, is a 501c3 nonprofit STEM.org accredited educational entity. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.